Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how you can manually download all your Windows updates. Now you may be saying to yourself why do I need to da download all my updates manually? Well you don't. As a technician uh, it's really useful and it saves a lot of time and time's money. So by doing this you can slipstream these into your disk and into your Windows disk and it makes it a lot easier. It means you don't have to update Windows. It'll have all the latest updates for your uh, Windows operating system and you can even do office and stuff like that as well okay so with that said also what's very important is for Windows XP now Windows XP will stop support soon Microsoft will stop support for them and that means that all these updates won't be available to you so by getting them now you can actually slipstream those into your XP disk Now, some people may still want to use XP but without that support you're going to be wide open so you can actually get all the updates slipstream them into your disk and that way if you ever have to format your machine you can safely put it back with all these updates installed okay anyway enough blabbering on let's get started so let's take a look at the program we're going to use we got windows updates downloader it's a free tool to download all you need to do is come to this pro uh, website here and then click on the program files And then once you're there, you need to look at the Windows Updates Downloader. And there's the link right there. Now, there's a lot of adverts on here, so just be careful here. You can see the, the actual download link there. That's the latest build, the 2.50. Once you've got that, you can see all the update lists for the URLs here. And you can see what it actually lets you update. Exchange 2003, Office 2003, and so on. You've got all your updates here now don't worry about these so much we're going to show you how to do this in a second this is the downloaded file I've already got mine installed now you will need a dotnet framework to run this so let me just click on this now like so now it gives you a little pop-up box and it just tells you what to do and it's pretty straightforward really so all it's telling us to do is click on this green plus so we're going to click OK here now what we need to do is click on here it will open up the website, go to the updates for your uh, updates list for the URLs and you can click on here. Select what you want to actually update. Now in this case we're just going to say it's uh, 8.1. I'm going to click on that. Now you can do any of them in any operating system, don't have to be in there. We're just going to click on this now and it should open and say compressed URLs file is installed that's now installed so let's fire this up and now once we fire it up now you can now see all the updates for Windows 8.1 so if you want to get these all down we need to do is check all and you can see the security updates here you can list them all they're all listed here there's 34 of those and you can see non security updates is 42 .NET Framework, you can see those there. Let's you download all your optional updates as well. You can take the ticks out if you don't want to download this select selection here. Just take the tick out. But and language packs, okay. Now, if you don't want the language packs, you can take that out, and so on. I'm just going to take these two bottom ones out just to get this down and show you. And all you have to do here now is click download, and it will start to download these files and there's 5 of 90 as you can see the download speed is pretty fast and this is for 8.1 okay so what I did there was I cancelled it halfway through just to show you uh, exactly what happens now you can see here we've got some green boxes and some yellow boxes now this tells me that we haven't got all the updates for this and these grey boxes have not been downloaded at all so we know we've got all of the security updates but the non security updates are in yellow and that means we haven't downloaded all of these if I open this up you'll see what it's downloaded so it gives you an indication of what needs to be downloaded and if there's any more updates there okay so it does keep you in check there now once we've got all those downloaded assuming we've just downloaded all of those got your options here 
that you can mess around with if you need to. I'll just leave those as is for right now. Now let me just uh, show you this one. We can actually remove this if we wish and delete this from the list or we can actually download more. So we can click on the plus sign again. It will open up that web page. Go back to our URLs list or up the top here, one of these ones. And then select what you want to download next. Now say for argument's sake it was Windows XP, you could click on this or Windows 7. So let me just show you the actual XP one. So we're going to look at Service Pack 3 XP with all the actual downloads here. So I'm going to click on this. Or you can download the XP one, Service Pack 2. We'll just do this one for now. And then click on that. Compress URL file. It's installed. And then close that off. And now all we need to do now is select which one we want. We've got the drop down list here. Click on this and now we can download all our XP files. And it will be the same process so if you want to do that again you just go and pick which ones you want whether it be Windows 7. Pretty straightforward stuff. So we'll just click on the 64-bit one for Windows 7. Close that off and then we can select Windows 7. Let's just say we wanted the security updates for now. But as you can see here, we've got a lot of the other updates as well. Click download and they will start to come down like so. Okay. So that's basically how you can manually download all your Windows updates. And then once you've got all these, you can slipstream them into your disks or you can do what you like with them. But basically that's how you do it. It's straightforward stuff. Okay, so I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.